What exactly is Chandrayaan-3? Why landing on the moon's south pole was crucial for Chandrayaan-3? Well Chandrayaan-3 is India's third lunar mission, was designed with the primary objective of achieving a soft landing on the moon's south pole. Following in the footsteps of Chandrayaan-1 and Chandrayaan-2. The Chandrayaan-2 faced challenges during its mission, notably a rough landing of the Vikram lander. However, Chandrayaan-3 incorporated several upgrades, including a more robust lander, an expanded landing zone, additional fuel reserves, and solar panels covering all sides of the lander. They pulled off the impossible, softly touching down on the moon's south pole on August 23, 2023, by this India became the first country to soft land in South Pole. You may wonder why South Pole? This choice was crucial due to the vast scientific potential of this region, which is characterized by its extreme cold and dry environment. The South Pole of the Moon is considered a treasure chest of scientific discoveries, particularly in terms of clues about the early history of our solar system and the presence of valuable resources like water ice. Let's break down how the Chandrayaan-3 mission safely landed on the Moon. On August 23, 2023, as Chandrayaan-3 approached the Moon, it had to perform a crucial maneuver, like slamming the brakes on your car, but in the vastness of space. So, fired up all four of its engines about 30 kilometers up in the lunar sky around 11.5 minutes until the lander found itself at 7.2 kilometers above the lunar surface. After hanging out there for about 10 seconds, it used eight smaller thrusters to keep itself steady and gracefully transitioned from a horizontal position to a vertical one. It engaged two of its trusty engines, slowing itself down further until it was just 150 meters above the lunar surface. And then, after all that suspense and precision, Chandrayaan-3 finally made its descent, gently touching down on the moon at 12.33 universal time coordinated. The mission accomplished. After Chandrayaan-3 made its gentle landing near the moon's south pole, things got really exciting during its surface operations. The Vikram lander, smoothly placed the Prajan rover on the bumpy lunar surface. The rover, which had cameras on board, started sending back some fantastic videos of the moon's surroundings. In one thrilling video shared on August 25, 2023, we saw the rover confidently rolling down a ramp from the Vikram lander and venturing out onto the moon's surface. It felt like something out of a science fiction movie, but it was real. They also shared footage from the lander itself as it approached the landing site, kicking up lunar dust as it made its grand touchdown. Just a day later, on August 26, ISRO released another video showing the rover driving away, nearly disappearing from the lander's view. It was exploring the lunar surface just like a true lunar explorer. Then, on August 27, we were treated to two pictures taken by the rover, giving us a close-up look at the lunar terrain. The rover was just three meters away from the edge of a large crater. It was like getting an up-close and personal view of the moon. Other than pics the ISRO team have announced that Chandrayaan 3's rover, Prajan, has successfully moved about 8 meters, and its instruments are active. All planned rover movements have been verified, and the payloads on the propulsion module, lander module, and rover are working well. The Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer, APXS, aims to determine lunar surface composition, while the laser-induced breakdown spectroscope, LIBS, will analyze the elemental composition of lunar soil and rocks. Lander payloads ILSA, RAMBA, and CHASED were also activated. ILSA measures seismic activity, RAMBA studies the lunar plasma environment, and CHASED examines the moon's thermal properties. Chandrayaan 3's soft landing made India the fourth country to achieve this feat and the first to land at the moon's uncharted South Pole. But, as they say, all good things must come to a temporary end. Both the rover and the lander were designed to handle only one lunar daylight period, which lasts about 14 Earth days. The harsh lunar night, with temperatures dropping to minus 120 degrees Celsius minus 184 degrees Fahrenheit, was a bit too extreme for their electronic systems. However, if they manage to survive the night, there's hope for more scientific operations. The payloads on the lander have been turned off but the lander's receivers remain active. Vikram lander will remain in this sleep mode until its solar power is depleted and its battery drains. ISRO is hoping for both Vikram and Prajan to wake up around September 22, 2023. This sleep mode is a strategy to help the rover and lander endure the lunar night. The Chandrayaan-3 mission is going strong, 
providing us with some incredible insights into the moon's secrets. It's like a cosmic mystery novel unfolding before our eyes. The ISO has another exciting mission called Aditya L1, where they'll study the sun and its various atmospheric layers and explosive phenomena from a distance of 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth. If you want even more details on Aditya L1, be sure to check out my detailed video on it. And if you enjoyed this video about space exploration, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more awesome content. Thanks for joining me today.